This is Tom Vineski with the Times Leader for our second project in the Wildlife Habitat Improvement Series. Today we're going to be doing a brush pile. It's a simple project. It has a lot of benefits. Easy to do. But what I have here today are the three basic essentials for a brush pile. First thing is a pallet. This goes on the bottom and this is a crucial step in, in this project because the pallet provides great cover underneath. Rabbits can get in here. Coyotes, predators, uh, foxes, raptors, they can't get in here, get at the rabbit. It's excellent protection. On top of that, I got some larger logs here. These will go on top of the pallet. And these will form a second base, if you will, for the brush pile. You can see there's plenty of holes under here for rabbits and uh, other wildlife to get in and get cover under this pallet. Logs are on top. Just straight across, uh, pallet boards are running this direction, logs are perpendicular, running the opposite direction. Final ingredient is the small thin brush. You can see it's uh, crisscross, it's just basically a tangle. This tree that blew down had a lot of grapevine in the top, which is fine, I left it there. Uh, it just makes things more thick, thicker and uh, uh, more of a tangle, which is what you want. What I like, like to do with when I put the smaller brush on, just kind of dome it over the pallet. So you have, have uh, the small brush hanging over each side of the pallet and make like a dome. And uh, that, that just makes it all, all, more, all the more protective and uh, kind of seals it up pretty nice. One thing about a brush pile, I mentioned it also benefits the small game such as rabbit and pheasants and things like that. It also benefits some predators, believe it or not. Weasels and mink, they'll get in these brush piles and they'll hunt mice. Uh, they'll get in this pallet, get field mice out of here and uh, provides a hunting ground for them, which they, they need habitat and food source too. We can't overlook predators. Uh, they, they count too in all this. So it's a, it's a good dual purpose wildlife project.